so you've probably seen a trillion and one opinions about our souls, and I appreciate that you're here listening to mine. So let's jump in. Upon entering the world, my first thought is, oh, this is kind of dusty looking. Like the color palette that they chose has a gray, has a heavy gray influence, and you can see it in the grass, the ground, and the forest. What I don't like is the inconsistency with the available color palette. Without spoiling, when you click shows us multiple times that the ability to brighten the color palette is available, it's just chosen not to. While palette aside, graphically this game reminds me of some of the older turn-based MMO-esque games. I also find that it is far too glitchy for a game that does not include online multiplayer. While seeing some Pokemon <laughs> glitching through the sky was, so was funny, I couldn't also help being sad. There are so many games for the Switch that run smoothly and look gorgeous like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey that make you wonder how this game could be made after that. Personally, I find that the lack of voice acting doesn't bother me much, but I can understand how this may be a deterrent for some who are not initiated in the way of like reading subtitles or things like that. On the other side, I actually love this game. I love the ability to hide in the grass and catch Pokemon or ride Pokemon, and the open world aspect is truly exciting. I think that being able to craft and make things and literally build makes it more engaging than it was previously. If anything, I think that this game should be treated like what it is, a test. I strongly believe this is Pokemon stepping into the world of MMORPGs, and I'm definitely here for it. What do you think? Sound off in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.